Welcome back. So today we are going to be solving this little question. It's a medium level question and the title is find all anagrams in a string. Given two strings S and P, return an array of all the stat indices of P's anagrams in S. You may return the answer in any order. An anagram, this is just a reminder, an anagram is a word or phrase that is, can be formed from rearranging the letters of different words or phrase, typically using the original letters exactly once. Now we have an example here. Um, we have the string S and we have another string P and we can see that we can find this um, string ABC in this um, um, other string two times. The first time is this and the second time is um, somewhere around here. Yeah, you know anagrams, you can be rearranged so it doesn't really matter as long as the same frequency of um, characters is the same in both um, strings. So now let's talk about how we are going to solve this question. And um, the idea here is we're going to keep a count of um, the, um, the P and we are going to keep a count of the S. And remember, S is the um, the longer string, while P is the shorter string, the one that we are looking for, the anagram in S. So we are going to find, so this is P, and, and the example we have, P is A, B, C. So we, we find um, the counts of all the characters in P, and name it P counts, and, and um, you can see here we have A1, B1, and C1. So what we are going to do is that we are going to create a sliding window, and we are going to move through S, and we are going to keep on updating um, the character counts in every Every window so you can see in the first window here we have um, a to be one b to be one and c to be one which means there is exact match which means we can pick the starting um, index which is zero as one of the um, indexes where we have a match now when we move the sliding window to the next um, um, the, to the to the right we have um, we remove c and we add e and we keep on doing that to the end so we 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 move um, one more time to the right we remove b and we add b and here you can see that there is no match because c does not equal to um to e so we, we keep on doing that and moving the sliding window to the right and we see that like there is no match yet we keep on moving and um at this point we have b to be two we have um, a to be one and um but that does not still match because we have b in the original in the um in the in the in the p we have b to be one we have a to be one and we have c to be one but here we are having a to be one and b to be two so there is no match and we keep on moving to the right and um yeah when we move to the right we remove b so b becomes only one and we add a because a is on the right right side so now we have a to be two and we have b to be one but we keep on moving to the right and um now we have like um an exact match again they are the same because now we removed a and we added c so now we can see that a b c is exactly one um and frequency each and that's the same with in the p count and then um we 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 um we add our index where b is to the output and say that oh we we found a new starting index for the um p and that is c and that is six so you can see over here we've added um that to our output and we keep on moving till we get to the end of s so now we move we remove b and we add d and there is no match and um, i think that is the end at that point we are done and we can re return the outputs move back to our id and um, write the solution in code so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to create a variable um, called p count just like we described in the high level overview and we are going to populate it with the um we are going to populate it with the frequency of each character. So we are going to create a loop and then we are going to loop through P and we are going to, um, yeah, so let's use um, a map for our P count and then let's also use a map for our S count. And the reason why we are using um, a map anyways, apart from the fact that it is a new, uh, it is one of the latest, um, new construct in javascript it's also um, more intuitive um when working with um such kind of um, character counts and all um so we are going to look through p and we are going to set um we are going to set the character count and um for every for every we're going to get the previous one what was we're going to get the previous um sorry we're going to get the previous um, count of that char and if it does not exist yet in the in the map we are just going to set it to zero then we are going to add one so this is going to give us a character count of um, 
all the items in p so now we are going to create another variable called j and um, you'll see why in a second because we are going to need it in 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 um, our our window in our sliding window so essentially what we want to do now is um loop from zero zero index to the um, last index in the of the s string and um while we are doing that while we are doing that we are going to we are going to um, be incrementing um j and make sure that j stays within the confines of our window so um we're going to ensure that j minus <coughs> j minus i is less than um is less than p dot length and what this is going to help us do is um we are going to start i is going to start at zero y j is also going to start at zero and j is going to so while it is less than that we are going to increment j and so j moves to one so j one minus zero is still less than um three so we move to um a so that is um two zero one two and um at two two minus zero because i is still at zero two minus zero is still still um two and then um, that's still less than um three so we move um j to three and um, three minus zero is no longer less than um, less than three, so we break out of this of this loop. But while we are doing that, we are going to ensure that um, we are essentially adding to our window. So what we are going to do is we are going to set we are going to be setting our s our s count every time we move to the to the right, just like we discussed in the um, in the high level overview where we are moving we are we are moving our our window. So we are going to we are going to um set we're going to set our our character so it's going to be um the char at the char at j we're going to get the char at j and um we are going to check if we already have that char at j if we already have any file let's just create a variable a small variable you know call it char and um yeah so we are going to say um, from the s count we are going to get we're going to get the char and then um, if we don't already have the char in the s count then we are going to set it to zero and we're going to increment it to one so when we break out of this um from this loop the very first time we are going to have um exactly cba set to um one 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 um so at that point we have to now ask a question and say is anagram so we want to check if um the p the p count is um the same as the s count basically that's what's going to mean is an anagram and we are going to create um our output which is just an array So if it was an anagram, we are going to say output dot push. We are going to push the current i index, which is um, in the first uh, iteration, is going to be zero. And um, once we are done with that, we are going to make sure that we decrement, which is kind of like removing the item on the left from the um, window. So we're going to make sure that we decrement the um the from the s count. We're going to make sure that we 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 decrement that is we set it so we are going to say char at <coughs> i'm going to say char at i and uh, we are going to get what it was before whatever it was before we are going to decrement it so um char at i so we're just going to say minus minus and um, that's going to help us set um the new count so once we move um um while our j is here once we add um the new the new j here we are going to remove um c so as essentially we're now going to have b a e so that's what we are doing here but before we test our code we are going to make sure that we write this um function or this um um yeah function or helper that is going to help us check if both are the same so i'm just going to call it um const anagram and um i'm going to write s <coughs> p count 
and uh, this count so essentially we are going to loop through all the items in um in the p count and whenever the frequency is not the same we can just immediately return false that they are not the same that is it's not an anagram so we are going to say um the the char and the frequency of e count dot entries and um, we are going to we are going to immediately check and say um, is the frequency is it um, if it's not the same with s with s count dot get here we're trying to get the frequency of s count using that char and then if we can't find um, the frequencies to be the same then we make a return false else if we're able to go through the check and everything is the same then we just return true so um at this point this should be good and then we can we can hereby test our code assume we don't make any mistakes <laughs> okay i think we have a mistake somewhere um chat ads not defined so yeah um we are supposed to say s dot chat at not chat at i'm sure you you saw that when i made a mistake but yeah Oh, sorry. This should be minus one. It should be minus one, not minus minus. And yeah, so that's that works. Our test cases are passing. And um, now let's run our, our final check and let's see how we're doing. And voila, it works. So um, if you really enjoy this um, tutorial and you would like to learn more, improve your coding skills, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we have serious and interesting and um, um, educative contents in the pipeline so make sure you don't miss by subscribing thank you very much for watching this video and yeah if you have any question you can hit me in the comment section i would be happy to um, assist you with whatever question you have bye for now